we, we think about water and water solutions and transformation in the non-built area, but a lot of our cities have potential in the non-built area, but much more potential maybe in the already built uh, yeah, urban fabric. And that's what we also wanted to study. How could our, yeah, our buildings be transformed also to make part of the solution of uh, the water um, pro problems we, we have to deal with? One of the, the, the issues in the atlas was, of course, the water system. And here you can see how um, yeah, several uh, valleys and several rivers um, are crossing this territory of Brussels and Flanders. And of course, yeah, water doesn't stop at the borders. So we wanted to comprehend uh, how this water system works, as well the natural system as the artificial system in the Wolue Valley, many floodings, ex increasingly extreme drought, and water quality um, challenges yeah, have to be dealt with. Um, these challenges or the problems are not only caused by climate change, but are also the result of an over-designed water system, a water management system that yeah, has forgotten or no longer relates to the territory on which it is built or neither with the soil on which it is built. So this artificial system proposes one unified solution that accelerates the discharge of every raindrop into the sewer system and causes them these problems of drought or, or flooding. Therefore, this study aims to drastically change our careless handling of water and proposes a better to better align the natural and the artificial system and to reduce the water runoff. 